Is it possible that an event that occurred to you, a negative event that occurred to you when you were young, maybe a young adult or maybe a young kid or a teenager, is it possible that that negative event is blocking, stopping you from reaching goals in 2022? Is there something that happened in that event where you had emotions, one of these, cue the emotions, John, that you have one of these that happened during that event 10, 20, 30, 40 years ago that's in the way of you reaching goals for 2022? We think there is, and we also think we can help you delete it today. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Welcome to the weekly Releasing Negative Emotions show. I am a certified emotion code practitioner. My name is Michael Loge. I'm also the author of these three books, and I live in beautiful Victoria, BC, on the west coast of Canada. We're on episode number 226. Yes, that means we've been here for 226 Saturdays, and I've been with John. John, say good morning to our friends. Hello, everyone. Happy New Year. My name is John Inverarity, Certified Emotion Code and Body Code Practitioner, and helping people all over the world with various aches, pains, and blocking uh, manifestation of goals and desires. And that's what this month is all about, is helping people uh, be open, clear, and uh, able to attract what they want. Yeah, exactly. So we're dedicating the whole month. That means four Saturdays in 2022. And we want to work with as many people as we can. And we want to demonstrate to you how we can, on your behalf, find out which one of these emotions is the reason that's blocking, stopping you from getting a goal or believing in it or thinking you can have it. We're going to find that out when we give you a session here live today on the Releasing Negative Emotions show. So, John, yes, 226 episodes, but people could have a marathon listening to all the previous episodes, and uh, we have a lot of new viewers joining us and watching us, uh, yep. particularly over the holidays. I think somebody, some people were finding our um, um, uh, Releasing Negative Emotions um, podcast, you know, um, so we're welcoming all kinds of new friends, and we actually were busy over the holidays. John, let's say good morning to some of our friends, please. If you're watching live on YouTube or Facebook, say hello. Yeah, Travis is here. Travis and, Wall. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, hey, Travis. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Uh, Gloria Padilla is here. Says good morning. Hey, Gloria. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sherry White has joined us. Sherry White says good morning. Yep. Uh, Chantel Morgan. Good morning. Hey, Chantel. Helen Jervis is with us. Hello, Helen. Nice to have you back. Hello, Helen. Uh, Lashini. It says Happy New Year. Hello. Not Sheeny. And Prince Arslan Khan. It says hi. Good, yeah. Uh, welcome. Yeah. Okay, we're going to be acknowledging and welcoming some people. Oh, maybe the internet's down in the UK. Do you think? Maybe. Maybe a little bit late. Yeah. Where is our... Uh... Where's our UK contingent? There she is. Yeah, she Hello, is. Natasha. Sleepy fingers. But she's not even in the UK right now. I bet you she's still on vacation. Nancy... Uh, Spivy is saying good morning. Hey, it's so nice to have you guys with us. Uh, again, John and I are on beautiful west coast of Canada. I'm in Victoria. John's in Vancouver. And uh, so we are having more of a mild winter than probably most of you. So uh, thanks for hanging out with us. And today, uh, the, the approach in January is that we want to help you, you know, and it might not be a super big problem for you. It's just like, you know what, here's my goal for 2022. So the conscious part of you is set the goal. You know, I got a goal, I want 10 clients, I want to attract a boyfriend or girlfriend, I want to buy a house, whatever that goal is, right? That's you saying consciously, that means on purpose out loud saying, I'd like to buy a new house. And then your subconscious mind, it's pretty big, right, John? It knows everything, stored everything, and it's louder and bigger, says this. You can't have that thing because when you were three years old and somebody stole your candy on the playground and you cried, never like who would believe that story? But guess what? That is the story. Could be. Yeah, or it doesn't have to be that story, but there was an event in the past where you had a negative emotion and now that negative emotion is stopping us from moving forward. So John, what kind of uh, volunteers could we work with today? Give us a couple of examples. Yeah, really simple. So two people watching live, and you have a set a goal in the new year, uh, something fresh, and you feel like there's something in the way, and you want our help 
in finding out if there is, you know, trapped emotion, some sort of some block from a past negative event slowing you down. And um, yeah, so in the comments right now, just say, yeah, help me. This is my goal and we'll do the rest. Yeah, we're, we are the practitioners and we'll connect up to you and see if there's some trapped emotions blocking you. Okay, again, let us know in the chat, the detail, you know, my goal is to do this and this and this. You don't have to tell us what you think about that or anything. We're gonna find out. Hey, we're gonna tell you what you feel about it, even though you don't even know you have that feelings, right, John? Because on this hand, they say, I want 10 clients. And then on this hand, there's the negative vibration of doubt or disbelief or whatever those 60 emotions are. And mm -hmm. that is diluting the positive vibration of the desire. And John, you and I are gonna delete the negative emotion that's blocking the positive desire. Today, live here on Releasing Negative Emotion Show. First, I'm gonna do a quick little announcement here. Starting next week, I'm doing my five week Law of Attraction Zoom class. It's five hours for five weeks with a 17 page workbook, me teaching you using accelerated learning techniques so you can master this. So you can master the three-step formula. Okay, so you mastered getting rid of the don't, nots, and no's, but now it's time to order. Now it's time to place the order. I'm gonna teach you how to do that in a formula. We love a formula. I can use it over and over again. Uh, it's five weeks on Zoom. I also record it, put in my online school, and you'll have 24 access. And not only are we going to meet live on Facebook or by, sorry, on Zoom, private Zoom, and by watching it later, I'm also going to have a private clubhouse room. It's an audio app. And people that are joining are going to come in, and we're going to have conversations about it. What a way to integrate that. Check it out. The link just appeared in the chat below. Uh, I think that's it, John. We're collecting some information. So while we're waiting for some volunteers, John, uh, we might we do have some new friends today that don't really know much about the emotion code process. So why don't you narrate uh, the uh, you know what goes on? You know, I've got my show and tells ready. Go ahead, please. Yeah, ahead. absolutely. So first things first. This is what we're doing here. This is the emotion code developed by Dr. Bradley Nelson. Wrote the book about it. And uh, yeah, if you don't have the book, haven't read it, this is a great place to, uh, to start. It's on Amazon. So there's two distinctions. One we already talked about is the subconscious mind and the other is a trapped emotion. So the subconscious mind knows everything, remembers everything, has documented everything in your life. And okay, so that's the subconscious. Next is trapped emotion. So it's an unprocessed emotion from a past negative event and your subconscious mind knows which ones are creating that block barrier uh, to you manifesting your desires or, you know, making your goals a reality. So what we do as practitioners is we connect up to you. We call that a proxy connection. And then we're, we're communicating with your subconscious mind uh, via muscle testing. So, you know, it looks a little different. I use my hands like this and we're asking yes or no questions. And we want to know like where it is. So we're asking, is there a trapped emotion creating this block? to manifesting your goals, you know, yes or no. So a lot of the time there is, so that'd be a yes. It's just assume it's gonna be yes. Okay, so is it in column A or B? Odd row, even row. And then we narrow it down from 60 down to, well, one. And then we find it, and which is great. We're bringing awareness to it. We're surfacing it. What we do is we take a magnet and we swipe it over the governing meridian, just like this. And that clears it out, transmutes it, deletes it, dissolves it, just releases it whatever you want to call it. So, you know, that's the, the process in a nutshell is subconscious mind, find the emotion, clear it. It's an emotional releasing technique. We're releasing negative emotions. That's right. And these are all the emotions that you had that never get processed. You know, people can relate to this. When I, last night I was having a conversation I, and I used the word flare up. I said, you know anybody that has a flare up? And he said, oh yes, I knew a friend that would just get flared up around jealousy. As soon as he heard his girlfriend with anything, he would just flare up with jealousy. And before that, and I said, so jealousy, that flaring up is like a pimple. It's an old, unprocessed emotion that's trying to get out, but it can't. And then it behaves in the way of that feeling. So that there's not much that'll process that. The time to process it is when it happened, right? And now it's, just, it's stuck. It's trapped inside. And John and I can go find that unbusted pimple emotion and then delete it 
and then it can't raise its head anymore. John, you and I have so many examples of, you know, whether it was panic or anxiety or anger or hatred, just finding the emotion, that's what we do, and then deleting it, and the person says, you know what, I can't even get off right now, and they, and they try to duplicate it, but the source of the problem is one of those, and one of these, or these, or these, will help delete it. So we are negative emotion deleters. That's why the show's called Releasing Negative Emotions. And we want to help you. Okay, John, it's time for us to play Canadian Roulette and scroll, <laughs> and scroll through the names and um, find someone that is going to be the recipient. John and I are each going to do a session today. We um, So here's what our goal is today. It's to demonstrate for you, well, first to explain what emotion code is so you can um, say, yes, we want you to help, or you, you want us to help. Secondly, is to demonstrate that we can do this for you. That's what we do. We are pro more your proxy. And thirdly, is to have you have a, an experience where you could notice right away or certainly come back by next week and say, holy S, balls, Michael and John. You'll never guess what. We, we don't guess, John, but we'll believe anything they tell us, right? Because, you know, if we talk about law of attraction, when we're deleting these unprocessed negative emotions for you, you have a new vibe. And anytime you have a new vibe, this is you. Well, it doesn't look like John or I or you, but now you're sending a new vibe. And law of attraction doesn't know what the old vibe is. It's responding to the new you vibe. And that's why you would start to attract new things. John, I saw you looking in there. Who are you looking at today? Yeah, lots of comments. We have lots of volunteers. Yeah. Um, a few more people I do want to acknowledge as well. Yeah, Natasha's here. In, well, Natasha's in the Caribbean. Uh, Premelia Parham's here. Says, good morning, bros. Happy New Year. Happy watching from a snowy Parksville. Okay, good. Hey, Premelia, welcome. Good morning. And I think Jennifer's here as well. I think she's coming up as Facebook user. Oh, yeah. That happened last week, too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Gloria, Prince, Sachin. Okay. I think I'm going to work with somebody that we haven't worked with before. Again, our goal is to have as many people experience as us as possible. And in doing so, uh, I want to find somebody new tonight. So uh, tonight, today, this morning, I'm just scrolling right now. Uh, uh, I don't think I've worked with... L L L L L Lashini. Okay. Yeah, that's a new name to me. I, that's that's a new name. Yeah. So Lashini is saying, I'm always worried about what other people will think about me. It's blocking me to chase my goals. Mm, good one. Okay. Yeah, let's figure that out. Mm -hmm. So, uh, John, I'm going to uh, narrate my session with Lashini, and you can be picking your next recipient. So just real quickly, uh, well, first, we didn't talk about it, but this is assume, John. Talk about that. Permission, right, yeah. So we do need permission uh, from people to connect up to them and work on them. And, you know, you're volunteering, so that's that's permission. But in other words, if we see someone, you know, limping down the street, we think they need our help, it's it's just not. I have ask. You, you can ask, but, well, yeah. People on the street. Yeah. Don't make me tell you the story about 7-Eleven with the guy with the cane, because I will. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I have Lashini's permission. He, she didn't use the word permission, but it's implied because she volunteered. And yeah. it's like giving me the password. This is muscle testing my style. That's a yes. That's a no. While John was connect, uh, while John was talking, I actually connected. So am I Michael? That's a no. This finger gets lazy. Am I Lashini? Yes. Am I Lashini Smith? No. Am I, am I Lashini A-N? I am. Okay. So now I'm going to become her voice, not sounding like it because I'm her proxy. I can ask questions in that tense. So, you know, I was telling Michael, I'm always worried about what other people think about me and my goals and my dreams. And, and it's blocking and stopping me from having a voice and moving forward and loving what I do and creating and developing anything and everything. That was a question, by the way. Here's the question. What, and I'm going to give some choices, what is the severity of this behavior or habit from one to ten? Is it over one? These are yeses. Is it, is it over one, two, five, seven, eight? Is it over nine? Is it over ten? No. Is it under ten? No. What is a captain obvious? It's ten. 
So the severity of this behavior problem challenge is a 10 out of 10. Okay. I think you knew that, but we're just, you know, we like to find the severity, John, because we want to test our work, right? So let's start there. It's a 10 out of 10. So now the real question is, is 100% of this problem behavior 100% caused by trapped emotions? Old emotions, yes. And does Michael have them on a chart? Yes. So um, I like to find out, it could be an average, but how many trapped emotions are causing this behavior? Under five? Yes. Under four? Yes. Under three? Yes. I'm not even done. <laughs> Under two, over two. How many, Captain Obvious? One, two. So there's two emotions, yes. And did I get those two emotions at the same time, at the same event? I did. You know what? Let's just find out when it was, just because we're nosy. Was I born? Yes. Was I over five years old, 10 years old, 15? I wasn't over 15. Was I under 15, 14, 13? Was I under 12, over 12, 12? So I was 12 years old. I had an event in my life, and there was two emotions that I had during that event when I was 12, and they're on the chart. A, is it sadness and sorrow? Yes. So I found both of them. I was using muscle testing. You couldn't see, but scan, boom, scan, 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 scan. And, and with the emotion code, you've got to know the emotion by name. Is one of them sadness? Yes. And did I have the sadness and sorrow at the during this event? Yes. And I never processed these feelings? No. Um, how many swipes to get rid of each of them? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I'm going to take the first one. Um, magnet again. John, just describe what that is for someone that's just watching. Yeah, magnet. Uh so it's, it's pure energy, and we're running the, the magnet over the governing meridian, so the, the energy system, acupuncture system within your body, with intention to clear the emotion. So the magnet amplifies the intention to clear the emotion. Yes. Okay, and that's what happened. And because I'm a proxy and I'm connected, if you can imagine, like, there's a little vibrational cord between me and her, um, I don't want to take it on. So in my head, this is also helping. So it's like a bath bomb. It goes from her, and I don't take it on. So before today's session, what was the severity that I was blocking and ha not having a voice or not sharing my goals and dreams and desires and fearful of what people say and all that other stuff? What was the severity blocking, stopping me to move forward? Was it eight, nine, 10? And now is it 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay. Is it okay for me to have a voice and hold my head up high and tell people what I love and what I what I like and what I like to do and this is what I have and this is who I am? Was that okay? Yes. Was that okay before today? No. Is that safe for me to do that? Yes. Was that safe before today? Am I worthy of doing that? Yes. Was I worthy before today? And do I even believe I could even do this? Yes. Didn't I before today? Yes. Am I done? So, Lashina <laughs> and Callaghan, <laughs> you know where I'm going with this, John. You can hold your head up high and tell everybody what you love, and you don't have to give a you know what about whether they like it or not. I'm just going to disconnect here. There you go. Uh, Hey, just to give some context, by the way, uh, when uh, a lot of you are, when you hire John and I, we like you to bring in a list of things because you saw what well, that was a two minute session. So in, in your appointment with us, we want you to pile on the stuff. We'll help you with what you can. If there's leftover, we can do that in the next meeting. But uh, again, as serious as this problem was, it doesn't mean it takes a long time to correct it. Right, John? People think that. Oh, this, this is a big problem. I better book a full session. Uh, big or small, we're good and we're fast and effective and efficient. So thank you, Lashina. Lashina. Yeah. Volunteer. John, who is up on deck for you, please? Absolutely. So I'm going to work with Sherry White. So Sherry says, my goal is to get healthier and more organized. So, <clears throat> so I'll connect up to Sherry now and just see what's going on here. So I'll start with healthier and, you know, healthy and organization, you know, it, they, they could be combined, right? You know, organized to me, that's like organized with like meal planning or something like that. Then Ideally, you'd be a little bit more healthier, right? Yeah, plotting and planning your approach and, your, you know, everything. You've got to, you've got to plan water. You've got to have a water in your house. Or right, yeah. I just, yeah. So that's what I'm going to assume. So uh, goal is to get healthier. So let's just tune and connect up Sherry White, act as a proxy, proxy, proxy. Yeah, so we want to clear these trapped emotions so you can 
you know, make healthier lifestyle choices. So, you know, big picture, big healthier lifestyle choices being organized and, you know, adding healthy foods, decreasing unhealthy foods, maybe more exercise, just overall healthier lifestyle choices. So what's, what's the severity of this block barrier to making healthier lifestyle choices? Is there at least a five out of 10? So it's a five out of 10. Yeah. Okay, it's an eight out of 10. Severity eight out of 10. So it, you know, it's up there. There's some resistance to that for sure. All right, let's see what's going on here. Is there a trapped emotion we can clear so you can and will make healthier lifestyle choices? Yes. Okay, so is it column A? No, so it's in column B. Yeah, odd row? No, so it's an even row. So it's in B6. So I'm just asking questions in my head here. So it's the first one. Yeah, second one. No. So the first emotion is pride. Yeah, need to know more. Don't need to know more. First one's pride. Let's clear that out. Release pride. Yeah. And John, it's true. We only say it out loud so the client can hear us, but we don't need to say it, right? We can just do it with our eyes and scanning stuff. So we it, we actually say it out loud for your for your benefit. Yeah, yeah. Just my habit is to not say it out loud because in a session it's like somewhat confusing. And it's just a lot of talking too, because I'm asking like so many questions. It's hundreds and hundreds of questions in a session, right? Yeah. So is there another trap emotion, Sherry? You can identify and clear, allow you to make healthier lifestyle choices, be more organized. Yeah. So there's a trap emotion. You can identify and clear. Okay, it's in column B, odd row. It's in B two, no, four. Yes, six. No. First one. <clears throat> no. Second one. Frustration. No. Third. Fourth. Fifth. No, so I got all no's when I went through the list. So that means it's a different type. It's a variation. So it could be inherited. It's an inherited trapped emotion. So I'll go through it. So inherited means you got it from either your mom or your dad. So something your parents or an ancestor experienced, trapped, didn't clear, passed it on to you. All right. So is it inherited? Operational DNA. Yeah, it is. Yeah. In the gene uh, or nuts. Maybe not the gene, but it's carried in. Okay, it's carried in the sperm or the egg, and yeah. that's that's what makes it inherited. So yeah, yeah. There's actually studies on that as well. That that uh, re there's research has been done that shows that yes, you can take on trauma from an ancestor. So it's inherited depression, and we're asked, is it from your mother? No. So it is from your father. Father? Yes. Mother? No. Okay, yeah, it is father. Okay, father's father, father's mother. Actually, it's father's mother. You can go on and on, but just for the demonstration, I'll just leave it there. Okay, do we need to know more? Again, John's not guessing. Yes. He's using muscle testing, and uh, her subconscious mind's directing John through the, this is the yes or no, ask her, er, er, right? So John's going, yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. So we do it fast, but that's where we're actually scanning every word on this chart. And your subconscious mind's finding it, and that's what John's doing now. Cleared up. So yeah, that was inherited depression, father's mother, or beyond. Who knows? That's cleared. Yeah. Is there another trapped emotion we can identify and clear, which will allow you to make healthier lifestyle choices, get more organized? Yeah. Trapped emotion column A. Yeah. All uh, A odd row. A even row. Two. It's an A two. Okay, is it the first one? Second one. Third. Fourth. Fifth, no, okay, inherited, yeah, first one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one. So it's inherited nervousness, again, father's side, father's mother again, need to know more. Okay, so it's, uh, we don't need to know more, it's nervousness from your father's mother again, release this from you now, release, release, release. That's cleared. I'm going to get somebody right now. I'll tell you. I'll let you know when I'm when you're done. Okay. Uh, Sherry White. Yes. Okay. There's another trapped emotion. Define clear. Yes. Two. First one. So it's an A two. Is it inherited? Let's just ask that. Is it inherited again? All right. It's a pattern. Officially, it's a pattern. It's inherited. Okay. It's inherited despair. Okay, father's mother, 
Father's mother again. All right. Clear despair from you now. And all with this. So inherited ones, you can picture like a chain. And the emotion is connected between you, you know, your dad, your grandma. And if other people got it, um, you know, that chain connects everyone. If you have kids and they got it, you know, it's being cleared from everyone. So the whole chain is being vaporized. So it's pretty powerful. And it was inherited despair. Release that now. It was cleared. Yeah. Okay, another trap emotion. No. Okay. So leave it there, Sherry. Let us know in the comments how, you, how you're feeling. If anything, Sherry. Any tingling, any sensation? Any what sensation? makes sense? Yeah. Some big ones. Just make sure that's all figured out. Good. Okay. Hey. John, I was, you know, we're here to demonstrate first how good we are. And the, the, the reality is that we can help people by joining a chat on Facebook Live. Are you kidding me? We like to work with people one on one on the video, but also to demonstrate, uh, maybe without her knowing, unless she's running to uh, uh, get her hiking shoes on. Um, while John was working with his client, I chose Kathleen Kane. And you said, but how did you have her permission? Well, she volunteered, so that's implied permission. I gave her an emotion code, the severity, because her goal is to exercise, walk, and hike. Uh, the severity of her block that was stopping her from doing that was a 10 out of 10. Hmm. And I found she had three emotions that were causing that, and they were absorbed. That means she picked them up from somebody else, weren't even hers, and they were funny. Well, they're not funny to you, but they're funny to us. The first one, absorbed dread. Mm -hmm. Right, John's like, I don't want to do that. So the next one, peeved. Uh, that's British for stuff. That's what peeved means. And the last one is fear. So they were three emotions at the same event. You were beside somebody physically, took on those emotions. Maybe in my head, you were preparing to go walking and hiking or drawing a walk and hike, and that got connected. And I got that deleted today. So let us know next week. Kathleen King from Gabriola Island on the west coast of Canada. There we go. Not too far from John and I, except in the middle of the ocean or the middle between well, Vancouver and Victoria section. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Um, let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. I felt tingling on my throat and I feel so much lighter now. John, I don't know if we told them how big an emotion was. Cue, cue the size of an emotion, please. Yeah. Uh, roughly it can be about the size of your fist. So imagine having, you know, three or, you know, dozens of these sort of like fist size or baseball sized emotions stuck in your body. Maybe your neck. Oh, yeah. oh. It's not going to feel very good. It's going to be heavy. So they're all low vibrational frequencies, right? Yes. They're not high. It's not love and joy on the scale. It's low. So they're heavy. So you're going to feel lighter once they're clear. Yeah. And then once that negative emotion gets released, it becomes a little vacuum, right? So our friend Theodora from Greece is with us. You are awesome. She means both of us. So thank you. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Uh, so Angela Amanda on YouTube is saying remove blocks from feeling safe and stable. We could definitely do that. And again, a one-on-one -on -one session or come back next week. So today we worked with the people, two people. And our goal is to work with two people every week, new people, have a demonstration, and hopefully our friends that we worked on today can come back next week and say, wow, this was so wonderful. And uh, Angel Amanda is from Toronto, Canada. So John, I'm just gonna roll up again if we missed your name here. Um, we're seeing different things. So John, if you see somebody, oh yes, here's somebody. Uh, Sasha Gun Jan Babar is saying, I need help. Well, we'd love to help you again. John, let's, um, we'd be remiss if we didn't tell people how we could help them. Can you explain how they could have a one-on-one -on -one session with us and uh, actually bring a list and maybe have more privacy? We'd love helping you here today, but imagine what we can do in a 25 minute session. Are you kidding me? John, let our friends know, go ahead, please. Yeah, you can go to our website. So I'm at aliveandpeer.com. Michael's at michaellozier.com. And we both have online scheduling. So you can open up our calendar. Find a day and time that works for you, uh, book a session, and then we can have a session over Zoom, a uh, video like this. If you're not into that, uh, phone, give us a call. We can do it over the phone. Or 
Uh, if you, if neither of those, that works, you can just email us a list of things, uh, concerns, we'll work on you and easy as that. You could be sleeping and we work on you. How nice is that? Or if you're at work or you're busy, just the schedules don't line up and we do that completely remote sessions as well. So there's just three options, but yeah, uh, we are available to help. Yeah. You know what? Maybe, I'll br maybe we could bring an email request to a future show to show how people to show people that just by email, because John, the, the key to getting the email request includes what? Permission. Yeah. Yeah. So give us permission by email or in a coffee shop or wherever that might be. Otherwise, we'd be connecting to strangers and relatives and neighbors and friends. <laughs> uh, I just put John's link up to his website. You'll see the links appear at it. Uh, and if you want to get caught up, and I'm talking like caught up, caught up, like totally caught up with all 225 episodes, you can go to releasingnegativeemotions.com live and the link to all of our blog entries is there. The link to uh, learn more about John and I are there. And also to get on the mailing list every Friday at 9 a.m. on Fridays and a half hour, I think, before today's show, we send you a quick email saying, hey, here's tomorrow's show. It's kind of nice to get a reminder. We only send you two emails a week, and uh, you can get on that list as well. And next week, or uh, for the next three episodes, John, remind people what we're doing, what we're looking for. Go ahead, please. So all month, we are working to help people uh, be more in alignment, clear blocks to their, their goals, desires, and you know New Year's intentions. That's right. Lashini, uh, we're just going to acknowledge how loyal people are to us, John. Malaysia. Uh, she's from Malaysia. I got, I'm glad I stayed up to watch this. Okay, I'd be remiss if I didn't say Malaysia is my most favorite country in the world. I've been to 17. I've been to Kuala Lumpur maybe seven times and traveled all through Malaysia. Look at me. And you know what the number one best thing in Malaysia is? Food. Lots of food. Indian food, Malaysian food, Chinese food. Oh, and I'm following friends from Malaysia, and I'm always like, we have a we have a dinner plate with three things on it. They don't play with three things. Oh. They don't play three things. Absolutely not. Bring seventy five things. <laughs> and I miss that. So, Lashini, enjoy all that beautiful food. Uh, yeah. Well, well, well. Look who decided to join us, John. Hey, Sylvia Bellini's here. Happy New Year. Yes. Hey, Sylvia Bellini. Nice to have you with us. Uh, we have uh, Charisma. Hardy is saying hello from Indonesia. Another beautiful Southeast Asian spot to visit. Did you and your wife go to Bali, John? We did. You yeah. did? Okay. It was. Yeah, in uh, 2018. Yeah. Lovely. Absolutely loved it. Yeah. Yeah, Sherry's back. Sherry White. So I did work on you, Sherry. Pulled out a few emotions. Inherited emotions from your father's mother. There is despair, depression, and nervousness. Yeah. And there is a pride as well. So hopefully uh, you're feeling better, lighter, and come back next week and give us an update. Yeah, that's the things to notice for. Hey, listen, yeah. uh, again, John, you and I have done a lot of episodes. We're on episode 227 next week. And uh, if you're new to the emotion code or to John and I, uh, John and I each have a menu, just like if we were a restaurant, because you've got to know what we have. Oh, I didn't know you could work on hot flashes. Yes, it's on the menu. I didn't know you could work on. Listen, I'm gonna. Go, I'm just gonna go with alphabetical order real quick. These are just a, a variety of things that we've had extreme success helping people virtually with the emotion code. Uh, achy wrist, fingers, and hands. Addictions. Always cold hands and feet. That one's always magical, isn't it, John? During the call, they can feel their temperature resume. Angry, bitterness, anxiousness. Looks, I'm only in the A's. I'm going to skip down, scan, scan, scan. Hard to take deep breaths. Guilt or grief or frustration. Heart walls or heartaches. Hormonal issues. Infertility, jealousy, knee pain or discomfort. I'm only in the K's. I'm going to work backwards. Writer's block. Unworthy, worthless, unmotivated. Tinglings in the hands, feet, or fingers, shyness, shoulder pain, sharp electrical pain. It's everything. Shooting, pain, yes. food, not fun, 
Oh, food deletions. Yeah. Hey, speaking of food, I just put a link in the chat. Uh, this will only apply if you're watching live today, but tonight on Clubhouse, I'm doing a food and drink elimination event. So if you're on Clubhouse, you'll know what it means to get in the queue. Guess what? I'm going to work with 20 people tonight. I'm going to take 20 people like John and I did today. You're going to give me a specific food or drink item. Bye bye, chips. Undelete it. So get in the queue. Uh, if you're not on uh, Clubhouse, you can maybe that be your first experience. It's an app on your phone that's audio only. You don't have to fix your hair or nothing or fix lighting. You can sit in your pajamas and your curlers or in your cowboy hat and nobody will see you or anything in between there. Mm -hmm. That's a good too. Uh, okay, John, we did it. Episode 226, helping people get their goals. Um, Kathleen is saying, is that list published somewhere? Uh, both John and I have it on our website, so you can check them both. And um, oh, don't we love when Syl Sylvia says it? I want to show because I want to get ready. You missed it. anything. Yes, you missed. 35 minutes of possibly the best thing you could possibly hear this week. Did I miss anything? No, Sylvia, we waited 35 minutes for you to join. Now we're getting started. <laughs> hey, listen, if you don't know, I love her to Reese's Pieces. She's been here for 226 episodes. We almost well, the it. hangout with Michael. It, I mean, it was yeah, and all the extra hang 400, out. yeah. And 500 hours listening <laughs> to me. We love her to Reese's Pieces. Uh, let's see. Sarah Herx is saying. What? 35 minutes? I'm not sure what that means. 35 what? minutes. What does that mean? Let me know. Start on the hour. We're What's here. That? Oh, that's yeah, started we're... on the top of the hour. We've been here for 35 minutes. You can watch the replay. Uh, maybe that's what you're referring to. Okay. That was it, John. We had fun next week back here. Uh, be sure to follow my, um, my YouTube channel or my Facebook page or sign up for um, to get notified. I just want to see if there's any link that I can give you for that. No, I think we're okay. John, thanks for hanging out again here on the Releasing Negative Emotion Show. We're going to be looking for some new people next week to help, and we want our friends to come back and say, wow. Wow. My life is different. Yep. Everyone, let's say goodbye to our friends. Have a great week, everyone. See you, See next you week. later.